Okay, so for this video or for this demo, um, what we'll look at is how to do uh, consolidations of purchase requisitions into purchase orders, uh, but we are showing the manual, uh, the manual approach. So um, in order to set this up, I'll first go and look in our procurement and sourcing. We'll look at the policy. So let's just collapse all here. Go to setup policies and you'll look at purchasing policies. And I will open procurement policies, US Meth. You can see this is uh, the policy that has been created for USMF company. And um, what we'll talk about here, we won't go through all the rules, but we'll focus on the, the, the last one, the one that's called purchase order creation and demand consolidation rule. Click on that and I'll click on the existing policy setup or consolidation setup here. Um, and the two tabs we're focusing on in this case is the manual purchase order creation and demand consolidation tabs. Let's first look at the first one. Um, so when, when you're creating these consolidation opportunities for consolidating purchase regs, uh, you're, you're using a manual approach. So you're letting the procurement team go in and, and, and review all the, the approved purchase requisitions and, and select what of them can be uh, consolidated into fewer purchase, uh, purchase orders. So, so you want to select in this case, the manual, uh, created, uh, manually create purchase orders option here. Um, in a later video, I'll show you how you can actually use the batch job uh, to uh, automatically create purchase orders and to consolidate uh, those. Um, but in that case, you won't have this one to set to yes. But for, for our case where we are um, manually consolidating uh, purchase requisition, you want to have this set to uh, manually create purchase orders. Okay. Uh, the next one here on demand consolidation, under the consolidation opportunities, you have do not allow demand consolidation, or you have always allow demand consolidation or allow demand consolidation under these conditions. So we are selecting here that we always want to allow demand consolidation, uh, but you could also, you know, set it to allow demand cons consolidation under these specific specific conditions and that could be you know under a purchase requisition or under a certain amount or, or or it could be different categories that we set up and so on that that we can uh, define what we want to do demand consolidation or allow for demand consolidation and what condition we don't want to allow that uh, but for our example we're simply setting this one to always allow demand consolidation so so uh, so that's the setup that we're going with here. Okay, so that's it about the setup. So um, I just go out uh, of this one or go to our procurement sourcing again. And let's just look at some purchase requisition I have created here. And you can see I have four purchase regs here, uh, one PR56, two PR60, uh, and they're all in approved state. Um, state. So that means that the workflow has been approved, uh, but no purchase order has been created so far uh, for this. So so that that's what we are trying to uh, achieve, go, go for and, and see if we can consolidate uh, these um, purchase regs. Um, once we make sure that our purchase requisition have all been approved, we want to go ahead and manually consolidate those. So, so let's go to the procurement and sourcing again and collapse these. So we can see where we're going. So we're opening purchase requisition again, and we are selecting now the approved purchase requisition processing, expanding that one. And we are selecting consultation opportunities. So, um, you, you could select the other one also, release approved purchase requisition manually, kind of one-on-one -on -one where you can also get to the consolidation opportunities form, but uh, so you can choose either to uh, 
but uh, let's uh, look at the consolidation opportunities here. Um, so I'm going to create a new consolidation opportunity and I'm going to uh, go, I'll just call it consolidation for vendor, I think it's US-111. Not too sure about that, but uh, let's just call it that. Um, and so I'm doing that and so now I can then add what are the purchase, purchase regs that uh, I want to consolidate in this case, uh, you know, should be for the same vendor, right? So I'd say add to the opportunity. Um, I have a few there, but I'm going to select the last ones that I created here that I know um, it's from a vendor here. So uh, I'll select OK for these last four. Um, and as you can see, it is vendor account US-111. There's one uh, that which was a procurement category. The other ones were clear they were item numbers, but this one is simply just a, a, a procurement category. So there's a non-catalog item um, and it doesn't have a vendor associated to it. So, so I would have to add my vendor to that line as well. Um, so what I can do here, um, also I can do some uh, bulk edits, for example, if I wanted to. So let me just select and say bulk edit. And if I wanted to apply a new discount percentage, I could do that. If we imagine, because we're able to consolidate some purchase uh, rec into one large purchase order, we were able to, um, you know, agree on a better discount. Um, and then I have two options here. I said 20% in this case, I can either replace the existing trade agreements that, that uh, would be on the item or on the vendor, or I can apply it on top of existing trade agreement um, that, that exists. Um, but I could, um, uh, let's say I'm just uh, replacing the, in any existing ag agreement because I know we negotiated a 20% discount in this uh, case. So I'll gonna apply those to my uh, lines. Um, and now you can see the, the net amount here is changing. Um, so that should be fine. Um, and what I also need to do, actually, you have a sort of a confirmation number based on these consolidations. So you will have to fill in the, paste in the consolidate, consolidation quotation number. Uh, so let's just call it uh, CQN, for example, dash 001, something like that. Uh, it can be the same one for all the lines. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that in here. Um, go save. And now I can go and close the uh, opportunity if I don't want to add any more purchase regs to this consolidation opportunity. Uh, you can see the create purchase order is still uh, grayed out here. Um, but I will uh, then go ahead and select close the opportunity. You can see the status now is closed. And so what we can now go ahead and do is create the purchase order. Or if there, are, there could be other several purchase orders being created. In this case, you can see it's just one. Purchase order is 407 was now created uh, for this uh, consolidation opportunity. Uh, so let's just go to our purchase orders. So we expect. Yep. So once we ran that consolidation and, and created the purchase order, we'll go back and we'll look at it was this uh, 407. Um, and you can see that um, one PO was created there with our lines, the 20% discounts and so on that we applied. And, uh, and then you process it uh, further on uh, using your PO. So that was a quick look at how we um, basically do that, how we manually create those consolidation opportunities and create POs out of those. 
in another video session I'm showing how we are doing uh, this using a batch work um, um, with a little more automation using the batch framework for for automating this uh, but uh, also um, where you also have the ability to consolidate um, some uh, some purchase regs all right thank you